Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you a little thing that um, the inspectors showed us that you need to do on every building, on houses, from now on. It's not something that I've been doing because it's not something that we realized that you had to do. So, when you're setting out a new section of wall from the ground floor, you'll come to a doorway. This doorway, the concrete runs out and it touches the back of the brickwork, but there is an insulated section that's 30 mil wide. That's for expansion of the floor. So that gets left in. All you normally do is you'll come up to where you think your door finishes, cut back the plastic so it doesn't overhang, and then your, your door form will come down here and your mortar droppings will finish down there. But what we've been told is there's another section of insulation. Now, as far as I was aware, this was something that had to stay in. Apparently, it's not. This is only, they only put this in to stop the insulation pushing out. So, what the inspectors want you to do is cut that back. Uh, and it's not actually a job for us. They said that they're gonna get the ground workers doing it from now on. Cut it right back to where your 30 mil is. Pull this off if it's been left in and then that is what you're left with. So, when you put your door former in, the snots will not build up on this section. And I'll show you over here. I've left this former out so as you can see, that is now what you're looking at. The former will go in there and the snots will carry on down. That's what you're left with. So that's just a little tip now. So whenever you're doing your doorways, make sure you pull this little piece of extra polystyrene off and that's where your doorway is going to finish nice and flush on there. And this looks like we're way over here. But that's just one of my starter tips for you. Also, when you're ranging through, when you've got a step level like this, if you just come out this way, Ozzy. When you've got a step level like this and you have to start on the top plot instead of the bottom, what I like to do, I like to start on the lowest section and build everything up and come up that way. But if you have to start on the top, make sure you range your profile down from the bottom section. Because if you look here, you can see that's plumb off there. This brickwork is leaning over about five mil. And what that'll create if you pulled off, if you, if you, if you came up, you'd soon see that this will create a belly in the wall. So it'll just, slowly curve out like that so now you know that and you can get rid of this problem i'm going to roll my damps out spread this up i haven't got any more to yet but this damp will go on first to the end of my wall like that roll it out all the way down there like that i always like to cut it just a little bit further than i think my door's going to go just to be covered and that'll sit under your frame anyway. You can bed this down with some mortar in a minute so you can roll that back up if you want to. We'll put a tray over the air brick to make sure that it's protected. This is your air brick, your telescopic vent that comes down. Your oh, the standard, what you need to do is just simply look where your brick is. Brick, vent, brick, and then cut. There's no special measuring involved, it's just three bricks wide. And then when you put that in, that will fold up into your joints nicely. And that's just the job. One more thing that you need, debonding sleeves. A lot of bricklayers call these Johnnies. Uh, that didn't work very well. There's your gust of wind that's come. That's why you need to bed it down. Just put another brick on there. I'm having a mare with that. Then you want your debonding de sleeves, which are over here, I would imagine, in a bucket somewhere. This is called a safe end safety tie, for all you that want to know. Where's the uh, debonding sleeves? 
Well, there's a bucket of them somewhere. No? Yeah. We like to keep all our uh, little sundries and stuff in buckets. Stops them going missing, even if we can't find the buckets. But they're there. So for this, I only need that many really. A couple of weep holes. This is your starter kit. Four inch damp, your tray, your weep holes. Don't need these until I uh, build the next side. They go straight on the damp and that gets bedded into my first course because this is six up, three six. And then once my movement joint's in, I'll slide these in and I'll build up the next side. But they have to go in first. That's the easiest way of doing it. And you don't need your joint filler until you've built this side up. So that's how we start. Boards are going on now and I'm gonna get started. All I gotta do is pull a line off there to my original brickwork. And that is, that's me away. All I gotta have a look at is the size of the door opening. Look at the bond coming through, check it, and run it to the expansion joints. And that's us. So, we'll see you in the next bit. Get that in, did Get my mic out. We've done that side. We've done this side. Honestly, that I know. That's all we want to get done. Quite a bit of a slow day today. If you've enjoyed today's video, I'll do this in the car. I'll do it in the car.